what's up everybody if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back to my channel i'm jerry and you're watching life with jerry you are my african queen the girl of my dreams you take me where i've never been you make my heart go ding a Alright guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, before we get into this video, give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's get this video to 50 likes, 50 likes, 50 likes, 50 likes, 50 likes. Subscribe to my channel, it's free and it helps me a lot. And turn on your post notifications because YouTube does not always notify you when I post a new video. Like, that's fake, right? Today, I'm going to be just telling you guys how to balance YouTube and school. I know a lot of people that do YouTube are young, like me, you know young no i'm just kidding but yeah they're young and a lot of us are still in school whether that be high school or college i'm in college as a lot of you guys may know if you are a subscribed to me and you watch my videos you know i'm in college so yeah a lot of the younger youtubers are in school for the most part some people aren't and that's perfectly fine but for the ones who are in school today i'm just going to be telling you how to balance youtube in school if you're finding it hard or you're having trouble or you want to be a youtuber but you're like i don't know i got all these assignments i got this i got that i'm gonna just tell y'all how to do it i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about me and what i do all in school and stuff and how i balance and maybe it can help you you know so this probably won't be a long video because honestly i don't really have a lot of tips i don't have all the keys i'm still learning myself but this is just kind of what works for me i'm not saying it's always going to work for you but you know it may so why not give it a try so if you want to know how to balance school and youtube keep on watching all right guys so the main thing i want to say no first let me tell y'all let me tell y'all a little bit a little bit about myself a little bit what i do in school so i don't have a job so my story as far as being in school and being a youtuber are different than a lot of people because a lot of people who are in school college for example have jobs also and they do youtube the ones that i know so it's kind of a little more different a little bit different for them versus me but at the same time i am in a bunch of organizations and i do serve on a bunch of eboards so therefore it does make my time a little more consumed and a little less time for youtube and a little more time on that angle so it's kind of equivalent to having a job you know because all the eboards i serve on all of that they require a lot a lot a lot of time a lot of effort there's a bunch of events we always have meetings things of that nature you know what i'm saying it may not be every day like work or a set schedule like work but you know take your pick um so I'm in about, let me see how many orgs I'm in. Um, I'm in about five or six orgs, give or take. And of those five or six, I serve on about two or three of those eboards. So therefore, you guys can see that that's a lot of time. If you don't know what organizations are or CCOs, they're cha campus chartered organizations at Clark Atlanta University. I don't know what your college may call it, but on our co at our university, it's called campus chartered organizations or CCOs. So those take up a lot of time. Like there's recruitment, there's the org fair, there's events, there's community service, there's e-board meetings, there's general body meetings, there's assignments. If you're in her campus CAU, for example, I'm in her campus CAU. We have assignments on a weekly basis. I'm also the youth to creative director for the upcoming year so i have to also come up and plan assignments give assignments plan recruitment plan workshops things of that nature you know so yeah let me tell you guys the number one thing to me, to being able to balance youtube in school y'all want to know the number one tip i have for you learn how to time manage if you don't know how to time manage then you're not going to be able to balance school youtube work all of that you're not going to you're just not going to be able to so if you learn how to time manage then you'll know how to do I'm sorry, my iPad probably will be going off. So actually, let me turn it off. So like I was saying, um, if you learn how to time manage, then you'll be able to balance. Trust me, time management is honestly the number one key, if I must say so myself. Um, the moment I learned how to time manage, everything became so much easier for me. I'm not saying I stopped being stressed or I'm not saying I stopped being so busy, but things did become much more easier for me. And what I mean by time manage is plan things out. So if you need to pre-film three, three or four videos, um, so that way you can stay consistent and stay on top of your schedule then you need to find a day or times where you don't where you're not doing anything and you have time to just sit well you're just gonna have to give away some time for yourself and put that into pre-filming which is what I mean so time management also comes with making compromises and 
compromising with your schedule and also having less time for yourself i'm just gonna be honest i don't have a lot of time for myself i don't have a lot of time for leisure and fun and things of that nature and when i do have time for that i spend it with my friends or my boyfriend period like i don't really spend time with myself a lot unless there's really nobody available but like for real like unless i'm not with him or i'm not with them even the time i have alone like right now the time i have alone i'm home i'm chilling i'm filming so that's what i mean like um time where it's just supposed to be for you you might just need to give that up to film videos or give that up to do something else for your schoolwork. you know what i'm saying i'm not saying never never have time for yourself but i am saying there's gonna be times where you have to give up your your me time and give it to youtube time or school time you get what i'm saying and another thing that goes hand in hand with time management is make a schedule if you make a schedule i promise you i'm not saying i have a schedule because i'm not that organized but i have done the whole schedule thing and it let me tell you if you stick by it it helps so make a schedule if you know you have classes this time you know you have assignments this time like if you're in college you get your syllabus the first day of class so you know what the whole semester entails of so you can plan your whole semester out if you really wanted to as far as orgs and stuff not all orgs give you a list of everything that's going on the whole semester but you do know in due time so you can add that to your schedule and then you can make time to film you can make time to edit like me i don't make time to edit i kind of just so i edit on my phone i don't edit on my laptop because I don't want to lug my laptop with me everywhere and the reason I like editing on my phone is because I can edit on the go which helps me get videos out and get videos up in a timely manner so like say I'm in a lift or say I'm in class and we're not doing nothing because y'all know I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it sometimes you have a class where y'all just don't do nothing if I'm in one of those type of classes or I'm on my way to campus or on my way from campus or anything of that nature I'm on my phone your phone's in editing that's just me though like that's the type of drive I have because I want to be able to get my videos up in a timely manner I want to be able to be consistent on YouTube I want to try to hit that full-time youtuber spectrum you know what I'm saying so that's basically how I manage school <laughs> balance school and um, YouTube it's really not much to it if I'm being honest um, I kind of just time manage honestly the biggest thing is time manage I'm not gonna sit here and make a big 20 15 minute video on how to balance school and YouTube because honestly the biggest thing is time manage once you learn how to time manage yourself and you know okay I have this assignment do I have this do and I have this video I need to get up and I don't have any ideas well then you make time to do all of those things to come up with ideas and you know what I'm saying and also make friends within the YouTube community who are just like you college youtubers or things of that nature they may be able to give you a advice too stuff like that or keep you level-headed and keep you on your grind because a lot of my youtube friends they you missed the upload this week what's up da -da -da -da. you know stuff like that so yeah um that's basically it for this video um if i missed anything or if you have any questions on how i time management or any questions about college or youtube or anything in general comment below and let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this very short <laughs> video like comment subscribe turn post notifications all that good stuff i love you so so much jerry gang i know this video is really short but i'm really just trying to push out content for you guys and i'm really running out of ideas so if you guys can please 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 comment down below video ideas is, that would be so helpful anyways i will see you guys in my next video let me leave you on a quick positive note eat your face not people bye